Hello and welcome, and in this video I will show you how you can get this box that could represent the character to move right and left if you're going for a normal 2D platformer game. And if you're going for a top-down game, then I will show you how you can move left and right, up and down with your character as well. And I will explain everything I do in all details as good as I can. Let's get to it. So let's get started. I have opened up here a completely new project and the first thing that we will need is of course a character. In my case I will just make a 2D sprite and I will add a, a, this background image that we have here. And I will remember to send it to 000 and in this case I will just bump it up a bit so it's easier to see. And we can do that with the scale over here. Then let's create the script. Let's create a C sharp script and this we will call move script. Let's open it up. Here we go. And the first that we will need is a, sorry, a private rigid body 2D and we will call it rigid body. And then we will need a private vector 2 and this one we will call move input. The rigid body uh, we need a reference to. Uh, it's a component that we will have on our player. And the vector 2 is the one that will do the move input if we are moving right or left or are down. And then we will need a public float and this will be the play uh, with lowercase the player speed. So let's get a reference to the rigid body. We will do that to say uh, rigid body is equal to get component and the co component that we need to find is our rigid body. Like this. So now we have a reference to the rigid body. And just to show you how it finds it, I will just put away the script, go back to the player here. I will add a component, rigid body 2D, and you can see my uh, square fall down. And why did that happen? That happened because this, the rigid body had a gravity scale on, like this. Remember to set it to zero, else the character will fall down. So, what this is doing, this script, we need a reference to the rigid body. That is the component we just added over here. And here we tells it when the game starts, we need to find this component where the script is attached and we need to find the rigid body 2D as we have here. And now we have the reference to that. Good. Then we'll need to uh, to get our uh, movement, so let's say move input dot x is equal to uh, input dot get axis raw, and here we need to have the horizontal axis. And why do we need the horizontal axis here? We all know that horizontal is of course this way, but if we again take the script away here, <laughs> go to the edit. Go to project settings, go to input manager, and here you can see horizontal. And what does horizontal say? It says that you can use left and right buttons, so the arrow keys to move horizontal, and you can use the A and the D to move right or left. This you can always change if you want. And the same we have for the vertical when we will move up and down. You can use the up and down key and you can use, the, use these to go up and down. And these can always be changed here. Just remember if you change them, <laughs> they, they will not be easy to find. So let's head back again. So now let's move. So let's say RV dot velocity is equal to new 
back to true and here we need our move input dot x and we need to multiply it with our player speed and then we need the rigid body dot velocity dot y for the up axis and here we go let's save this and head back to unity again Remember to attach the script, set the player speed to 5, and hit play. Here you go, now you can move right and left. Good, now we can move right and left. Now let's move up and down. Let's uh, remember to not play. Because if you have the play button on and you change something and you put it, put it off, then <laughs> everything will, will change back again. Let's go back to the script. And now we need to find the Y axis. So copy and paste this line. And here we need the Y. And now we need to find the vertical. And this... I showed you before, now instead of going right and left, we are going up and down with this. So, now we need to change this. Instead, we say move, sorry, move input dot y, and that direction we need to multiply with the player speed as well. If we save this, and back again, <coughs> and hit play. Now we can move right and left, and we can move up and down. But we just have one little issue here. If you hold down two keys, you move faster in these directions. So we need to fix that. And to fix that, we will need to normalize the direction. We can do that by saying vector2 direction is equal to our move input dot normalized. And what normalize means, I will try to draw it for you to explain it better. <clears throat> Hold on for a second. go so what it means is right now imagine that we have a square here or not imagine it is a square but your character is standing here let's make it like that is your character right now you we have the x-axis here this and oh sorry and we have the y axis here right now we ask it to go from here to there and we ask it to go from here to there but when we hold down two buttons we ask it to go here to here and if you see this line is much longer than these two so another way to say that is if you have to run when, when you press the button you ask it to run from this point to this point and to this point to this point and of course if you have to reach this point the same time as you reach this one you have to go faster so what we are trying to achieve or what that normalized does is it actually, let's see if I can draw it like this. It actually does, sorry for my bad drawing here. And let's put it on one. So you can see the line here. So this is actually what the normalized do. It calculates this 
curve here. So when you hit two buttons, the line is only here. So now the speed is actually the same when you press the two buttons. That is what normalize do. Yep. Yeah. Let's get back to Unity. So now when we have normalized the move input, we can take this direction and change the move input like this. Save it and hit back to Unity again. Let it compile, hit play. And now when we move right and left, up and down, and when we hit two buttons, we are not going faster. We are going in the same speed. So here we go. Here was the the normal platformer, right and left, and the top down, right and left, up and down. Thanks a lot for watching 